Tests are an essential part of any professional software development process. One of the biggest problems with tests is that executing them often takes a long time. We've checked out the Apache Cassandra project. We will now run the 1064 tests of the 84 test classes under the Org Apache Cassandra CQL3 package. Here the tests are executed in a single process on a local machine. Long-running tests affect individual developer productivity because of long wait times and context switching, team efficiency because of fewer pull requests being merged per day, and the quality of your product because tests are run less frequently. The build has finished. Let's look at the build scan. It took 23 minutes and 33 seconds to execute the 1064 tests. With Gradle and Maven, you can execute tests in parallel. Here, the tests are executed with four local processes. This is already noticeably faster. However, the maximum number of parallel forks is limited by the machine's CPU and memory resources. And if you use too many of those, the developer machine might be unusable for other development activity while the tests are running. The build has finished. Running the test took 12 minutes and 11 seconds. Nice. Let's bring this to another level. With Cradle Enterprises distributed testing, you can scale beyond the limitations of a single machine and distribute the execution of tests to as many local and remote processes as you want. Here the tests are executed with four local and 12 remote processes. Each process is represented by a Cradle Enterprise test agent. While the tests are running, Cradle Enterprise provides a live view of what is happening on each agent, for example, which test it executes, or other activities like uploading sources and class paths. Tests can define agent requirements and will be only run on agents that match those requirements. For example, a certain version of Java or certain operating system. To evenly distribute the load between the agents, historical data about test execution time is used to decide which and how many test classes are sent to each agent. The build has finished. Running the tests took 2 minutes and 15 seconds. With distributed testing, we could speed up test execution by a factor of 10 compared to executing with a single process and by a factor of 5 compared to local parallel execution. You can apply hundreds of agents. The distributed testing engine is optimized to keep the overhead of distributing tests low. For optimal fine-grained distribution, you might have to sometimes reorganize in which test class the test method should live. When running the tests with 32 agents, out of the box, the test execution time is two minutes, which is not much faster than with 16 agents. Why? The unit of distribution are test classes. The minimum achievable execution time is the time it takes to execute the longest running test class. If you look at the build scan, we can see that the tests of some test classes take more than 90 seconds. On top, you have to set up and tear down costs for the test class, so we cannot optimally balance the load. After moving some of the test methods to other test classes, we got the execution time down to 1 minute and 9 seconds. Test results are automatically aggregated from all the agents to the machine running the build for things like coverage reports. While we have shown only local builds in this demo, CI builds will get the same benefits from distributed testing. 